Hi, I'm Stephanie from Uncommon Threads, and today I'm going to give you a demonstration of how to work cables without a cable needle. What I've got here is the Baker Island hat by Megan Kelly. This is our September hat of the month, and I'm doing it in Fiber Company Road to China Light. And you can see there are a lot of kind of traveling stitches here where they go to the right and to the left. And these are all simple, you know, one over one crosses. And I didn't think that I would really have the patience to pull out the cable needle every single time I had to do one of these crosses. So I decided to do them without a needle. And I'm gonna show you how that works. So I am just about to work the cable here where this column of knit stitches is going to cross over with this purl stitch right here. So these two will reverse their positions. This will become the second stitch and this will be the first stitch. And I will always work the second stitch on the left hand needle first. And whether I go in the front or the back depends on whether this stitch is meant to be in front. So since this one, this purl stitch is meant to go in the back, I'm gonna work this from the back and this particular cable is uh, two knit stitches. So we're converting this purl to a knit and I'm gonna go through the back loop here. Okay. And then I'm gonna come back around to the front and work this knit stitch normally. And now I'm gonna pull them both off at the same time and you can see how they've changed positions and this knit stitch is in front. Now I have a couple of purl stitches and we're ready to do the next cross where this knit stitch is going in front of this one. And as I said before, the second stitch always gets worked first. And since this is meant to go in the front, I'm gonna go in the front here as well. This one gets a little bit tricky. Sometimes I split the yarn, so I'm going to loosen that stitch a little bit and put my needle in. And now I'm going to work the second stitch. And I could work it through the back, but since this one is already in front, I'm going to work that through the front as well. And you can see that worked out fine. All right, I'm going to move on to the next section and show you again. I have put stitch markers in between each section of the hat because it's just easier to keep track of where I am in the pattern with all these stitches moving around. Okay, so now I'm ready for another cross. I'm going to go into the back of that stitch because it needs to go behind. Oops. I'm picking up the back loop. Ah! There. So you can see I've worked through the back of that stitch and now into the front. There we go. A couple more purls. And I'm ready for the next cross. Again, working the second stitch first. This one is meant to cross in front, so I'm going in through the front loop. Here, let me demonstrate what that would look like if you are a thrower, even though I'm super awkward at throwing. I'm gonna loosen this up first. Okay, I'm gonna wrap it around, pull it through, and now I'm gonna go through that first stitch and they both come off at the same time. Okay. There are cables in this pattern where you, um, instead of doing two knit stitches for the cable, you do a knit and a purl. And that's probably the more difficult cable because you do have to purl through the back loop, um, which involves coming up behind and going in this way. 
Uh, it's definitely doable, but not the most fun technique. So you get to choose whether you want to do it without a cable needle or in that particular one with a cable needle. I'll just do one last, one last go here. Knit stitch in the back. Knit stitch in the front. Couple of pearls. And now knit stitch in the front. And first stitch. And there you have it. Okay. I hope this was helpful or at least gives you something to try the next time you have a pattern with simple cable crosses. This again is the Baker Island Hat by Megan Kelly and it is our September Hat of the Month. Thanks for watching.